Cheating is becoming a larger and larger problem by the year for competitive games, and it loses developers millions of dollars. Today, I got an interview with a Cycle Frontier cheater to give some insight into what goes on in the minds of people that like to cheat in these games. This is by no means meant to be promotion for cheating. I don't condone cheating in any game, and I find it a pretty low testosterone activity. I told you guys in my last video about a cheater named Jason S, who was infamous for cheating in the Cycle Frontier. I had many people reach out to me that said they used to know him, but it seems like he's in jail now. So after trying and trying again, I finally got one cheater that agreed to do an interview. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and you get into the mind of a cheater. Don't forget to smash that dislike button and tell me to kill myself in the comments down below and share this with your friends. All right, cool. So, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm a current cheater in uh, the Cycle Frontier. I've been doing this for about two weeks now. Um, I'm more and curious, I, like, uh, just about you as a person. Like, how old you are? Where are you from? Uh, I'm about 17 years old. I live in um, Russia. So, I may not sound Russian, but that's just because I've moved there uh, quite a, a couple of years ago. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Right on. So, I guess uh, you were talking about you're a cheater in the cycle frontier. Have you played the, the previous yeah. betas? I know I have never played the previous betas. Uh, so, I've heard about the game uh, quite a, a couple of months ago, but I only started playing it since the release. Okay. And did you start cheating right away with the release? Uh, well, initially, I played for a couple of days without the cheat. I played just for fun with a couple of my friends, but I knew a couple of people who make these cheats and um they develop them themselves so i was like you know i'm curious if they if they have a cheat like this one and i dm'd them asking them if they had any kind of cheat for the cycle frontier and they told me that they're developing one and it'll be finished by the end of the day which once that happened i got hold of the chi and i started playing with it since then you said it was a certain type of cheat. Do you, do you use like ESP or do you use like, you know, there's like um, the crazy pickaxe thing going around right now as well. So I've heard about the crazy pickaxe thing. I, my cheat doesn't offer such, um, such features, but I can show, I can send you a menu of how it looks like if you want. Sure. Uh, let me give you a sec. So it's, it's a, it's a very popular cheat called it uh it was released a couple of years ago it's, uh it's very prominent it's one of the best-selling cheats in escape from torkov at the moment and uh the cheat basically lets you do a bit of everything from speed like you can you can you can use speed you can um have infinite stamina you can see people through walls it's esp aimbot silent aim there's different kinds of you can choose if you want to use vector or if you just want to use silent aim, you can search for the items that you want to, and different items are highlighted in like different ways to like symbolize oh which one is more expensive and which one is exotic or legendary. Hmm. So, how many of your friends cheat, and like, do you have a history in cheating in other games? Yeah. So first of all, I started up with um, Call of Duty. I used to play uh, back in. Um, I think it was the first uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. I used to cheat in a lot of Call of Duty Black Ops games back when um, they stopped working on the game. So the game just got entirely raided by cheaters and hackers. And I took, uh, I was like, you know what, it's, it's, it'd be a funny idea to go in the, um, to go in the game and just um, play with my friends with cheats on. So that's initially where I started my cheating. And do you find yourself cheating on most games you play now? Yeah, it's become uh, mostly where it's kind of an addiction in a certain way because I can't play without cheats. It's for me, mostly cheats, I do them for other reasons, but every game I play, there is that feeling of wanting to cheat in it. Yeah, just for like the satisfaction of being better than people, even if you're using cheats. Yeah, yeah. For the satisfaction of generally, it's because. I'm not that good at gaming, I'm going to admit it, and I always wanted to be better than other people, so I was like, you know, if, if I can't improve, or maybe I can't improve, but I don't want to, why not just start cheating? Well, I know... That, of course, comes with risks. You, talk, you talked about Escape from Tarkov. Have you played Escape from Tarkov? Yeah, so I played Escape from you, Tarkov. Is that mm -hmm. how you found your way on the cycle frontier? Yeah, exactly. I found my way from Escape from Tarkov 
and then all the way to Cycle Frontier. But first of all, I started playing Tarkov three years ago, back when it wasn't, well, it was still pretty popular, but I, that's when I used to play without cheats. And I played for for two wipes without cheats. And then I had a friend who I knew for quite a while who started developing cheats. And um, I asked him, you know, if you had any kind of cheat for Tarkov and um, you could buy these cheats on these sites. And that's what I would do. I'd buy these cheats. They're like seven day keys, one week keys, uh, oh, yeah, same thing, one month keys. But there's never like a permanent key you can buy it's always you're having to rent these cheats yeah so um something i want to ask about is you say you cheat because it's fun right you also play escape from tarkov a lot of people are coming from escape from tarkov to the cycle frontier and Mm -hmm. a lot of escape from tarkov players truly believe that there are no cheaters in escape from tarkov they just do it for the inherent advantage like it's one of the hardest games out there right now and they yeah. just want to be better than people. Can you attest that? Because a lot of people have this idea that people only cheat in RMT if they're from like uh, South America and they're using it to, you know, pay for their family's dinner. Yeah. yeah. When a, a large majority of these cheaters are in oh. fact just doing it for the fun of it, right? Yeah. So that is actually true. The because a lot of a lot of these cheaters like to give the excuse of like, oh, you know, we're doing this to provide for our families, to provide for our like. You know, I some of it may be true, but most of the community of cheating is like ruining some people players' experiences, but also having a higher advantage to other people. And RMT is also a very big part of that in general. Like RMTing is mostly teenage kids like me and other people who just want to make money. And the best way is like RMTing and cheating. And yeah. of course, you have those ones who like to play for fun, which is what I like to do too. You know, I like to have an advantage in the game. That's why I sometimes use ESP and cycle, but I don't actually go around aimbotting and everyone. So, do you uh, feel like you enjoy the cycle frontier? Well, um, the first two days that I played it, I enjoyed the game a lot. It's visually really nice. It feels really smooth. It feels polished. There's some things that, of course, that of course are a lot of bugs, but I still felt like. I was I kept on getting shot on in the game, so I kept on getting like absolutely destroyed. Everybody was killing me. I couldn't like I I was so hard for me to loot, and I was like, oh, you know, I'm done with this. I like I want to try to cheat in this game because it's more fun. And do you still have fun uh, playing with cheats? Uh yeah, I still do. Um, the way the my gameplay experience is mostly looting more than actually killing people because i have i play on two different accounts i play on my main steam account and on my other account my cheater account for the cycle frontier Hmm. and i switch between those if i'm playing with friends or just playing alone or doing rmts talk about rmts are people already buying and selling items for the cycle frontier yes it's as soon as the game released the people started releasing RMT services. I saw Discord servers coming up with like Cycle Frontier RMT services. People started selling labs, well, started selling key cards and stuff like that. That's what I do, honestly. And items became like a really big part of uh, the Cycle Frontier, the business of RMT. So we have only had the Cycle Frontier out for about a week now. And you mm-hmm. said there's already all these people selling these items. Um, yeah. How much, you say you sell key cards, how much does something like a key card go for? Well, a uh, key card goes for, I'll tell you right now, because I know the price has changed. Um, but I sell them on this website, and depending on the key cards, um, like, I sell rare armor sets, but if it's if it's key cards, uh, let me just check, if you give me a moment. Uh, so normally, like, obs- I'll give you an example, the Bright Sands Observe key card, people would buy off me off $4 or four euros and the mine access key card can even go up to five dollars or three dollars overseer office key card instead instead goes to like up to ten dollars which people actually surprisingly pay for that and then server access key cards for you know 10 and 15 and then the boss office key card for about 10 to 15 dollars hmm. what about things like the community room i know it's a really popular key right now the what the community room Oh, the community room, I sell it for 15 to $20. Interesting. So it depends, honestly, on how much availability I have. If I have more of those cards, I'll price up to, you know, I just sell them for 15 each. 
or if there's only or if I only have one in my stash, I'm just gonna sell that one for twenty bucks because I have a lot of orders coming through most of the time. Okay, so at this point, you find yourself playing the Cycle Frontier at all for fun or just solely to sell these items? Well, if it's solely to sell these items, I mostly play with cheats on. But if I'm playing with friends or if I'm playing just for fun, I play on my main account where I know I'm not going to get banned. For example, if there's any, even if there's any chance of getting banned, I play on that one uh, without any cheats on. So I still enjoy the game on my spare time. So you play for fun. Do you feel like a uh, morally obligated? Because when you're cheating, you're obviously ruining the game for other people that are playing it for fun at that time. Do you yeah. feel morally obligated or feel bad about cheating because you yeah, enjoy to play this game, um, you know, without without hacks? I kind of feel, I feel a bit guilty and it feels like a bit of a taboo subject with most people because I don't, my friends that I play with don't tolerate cheating at all and they kind of put shame upon that. So I never told them I actually cheat in video games because it's a bit you know, it's a bit frowned upon in the community, of course. And uh, for me, it's mostly I get guilty when people start making fun of me for cheating and stuff like that. You think people making fun of you for cheating is a real deterrent? Is a real deterrent? No, definitely not a deterrent. It definitely doesn't deter people. Yeah. Um, well, speaking of deterrents, what, what do mm-hmm. you think they could do to like help deter cheaters? I mean, if they made it harder to trade in the game... You know, you know, Escape from Tarkov did stuff like that recently, and maybe you have some insight on that and how that's affected cheating in Escape from Tarkov, but what do you think the developers of the cycle could do to make it harder for people yeah. to cheat? So, cheating and anti-cheating and anti-cheating technology is basically a constant battle, in my opinion. Whether you add new detection mechanisms, it is a matter of time until it is worked around by cheat makers, and then you need to find a new way to catch them, and basically it just continues like that. Most of the time, I would say this, it works the same way in Tarkov as, you know, hiring people who actually work and looking at, into people's private profiles and seeing, you know, if this person killed too many people in one match, this has this guy has too many kills and less deaths. And, you know, I think manuals ban, manual bans would really help, for example, and deter them more. And they're not going to completely remove them because you can never remove cheaters, in my opinion. They're always going to be there. You think more but, manual bans is the solution to get rid of cheaters in the cycle frontier? Because right now they're at the point where not. they don't have enough people to do that amount of manual bans. There's also not enough proof. And I yeah, know that their battle eye is uh, pretty easy to be bypassed. Battle eye and EAC are probably one of the easiest ones. EAC are probably one of the easiest ones to battle uh, by, by, uh, to bypass. Um, I know although, um, Escape from Tarkov used to use Battle Eye. I'm not sure if they still use Battle Line now. No, they don't. And then uh, I think Rust used to use Battle Eye as well. I know Arma 2 used to use Battle Eye. And uh, I don't think it's a very good anti cheat. You said, what was the other one? EAS? EAC, yeah. EAC. The yeah. best one is probably, um, it's, it's one that I've seen quite popular, is Easy Anti Cheat. Is that EAC? No, sorry, not EAC. Uh, EAC is in Easy Anti Chi, but Easy Anti Chi and Battle Eye, the two differences is that EAC is much better than Battle Eye. That's why a lot of them have been uh, kind of moving around both of them, but it's still easy to bypass both of them. I don't remember which one is the best anti Chi, but I, I'm not too sure. Hmm. I think. The, um, in my opinion, I would say that most anti-cheats are bypassable. It's just if the only thing that you get is if that game properly has a determination to remove cheaters and hackers in this game is to actually, you know, have the active community of people who, you know, manual ban and stuff like that. They should have regulations because in fr- the cycle frontier, I can just make a new Steam account, install the game and I'm done and I can just start playing. I remember you watching one of your videos, you said that ver- verifications, you know, two-factor auth- two factor authentication would work. I think that's a great idea, honestly. But the issue is um, also, the, it's the same thing in Tarkov, because in Tarkov, the reason is you have these really big ban waves, because even if someone is flagged, they won't be banned straight away. So some cheaters will play for days, and they will be annoying for, like, real players before finally getting their account banned. So Do you know if there's a reason why they choose to use those ban waves? Um, bandwaves are 
actually very useful, especially that's when it's most some codes that uh, some some video games detect, and that's when they start banning. Uh, they start doing these huge ban waves. But sometimes ban waves can also be a problem because some actual players get caught into these ban waves. So. I have heard of people being false banned in the Psycho Frontier already, but it's always something you have to like, uh, can't take it completely seriously because a lot of time I've seen a lot of cheaters that just lie about it as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot so, of people do lie about it. Talking about cheating in Psycho Frontier, how easy is it to cheat? I've heard from people that uh, they're injecting cheats through the Discord overlay. Yes, so Discord overlay, there's a lot of different types. Of, different cheats use different overlays. Prominently, Discord overlay is a very popular one. And also, um, what's it called? Um, I forgot the name. It's NZXT. It's, it's the NZXT app which basically makes lets you overlay the game also and geforce um experience so those are the three main ones that are used for overlays but discord the discord overlay is probably the most popular one at the moment because it's really easy to use and do they choose to use these overlays because you know m almost everyone who's playing games these days you know has an nzxt program or they have geforce or yeah. discord one of these overlays so you know um the developers can't really use this to catch people and like say for sure they're cheating versus like old cheat clients that you, you'd actually have to launch on your computer right yeah yeah you'd have to like actually launch like an exe file for example and keep it open while you're playing the game yeah so that makes it significantly harder for them to be yeah. caught do you have yeah. any suggestions about that because they can't easily they can't ban discord you know what i mean no 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 they definitely cannot ban discord um they're I'm not really I'm not really good at this because I'm not an actual coder, but I think what could actually help would be to genuinely um, find these not these overlays, but find look, look at the look at the profile's actual account, and they should have a, a certain point where if the account if if in one in one match this person instantly kills someone over like 700 damage, as you said with a pickaxe, then that should be flagged. And that should be put under review for from someone that would then ban them because you can't really have automatic bans unless the chi is widely sold to everybody and everybody's using it. So then the anti chi is able to pick it up because most anti cheats are uh, not exe files that are stay open; they're always hidden, so the anti chi can never detect them. Basically, some of them can even stay undetected for months or even years. So they're good. Yeah, I'm certainly not a coder either, but I do believe there should be red flags. Uh, like I said before I started, you know, if a pickaxe does 7 million damage or a sniper does 1,000 damage, that mm -hmm. should be an automatic red flag. I know in Escape from Tarkov, they used to have uh, rare keys that would spawn inside of cars that you actually yeah. couldn't open unless you used cheats to get them, and those were just red yeah. flags they used to ban players. So I would like to see more of these red flags in the game, and I think they could be implemented yeah. pretty fast and very cheap to get uh, to help combat hackers i know making an in-house anti-cheat would be extremely expensive yeah yeah that's that's the problem with most you know games that are starting up some of them lack funding to actually be able to make something that you know an anti-cheat well talking about funding and also you know you're a fan of this game if mm -hmm. this this game i believe is in debt at the moment i don't have an article yeah. or anything on that right now yeah, but they were a battle royale and they're trying to shift this uh, this market and I think it's a great game but they do need to start making some money on it. If a lot of players uh, quit because of cheating, you know, they're free to play and they need people to continue to play and buy those skins for them to stay afloat. Do you feel like you'll yeah. be uh, you'll feel responsible if this game goes down? Definitely. I think I think I m me and many other people who cheat would be the part of that because I think more people are getting frustrated. Well, it's more of the blatant cheaters, and even I that I acknowledge, I I'm I know that I'm cheating. Some someone may be not, someone may not know that I'm cheating. But the blatant cheaters, they definitely are steering away the community. That's because, well, you mean it's not fun playing a game where you're instantly spawned and you get pickaxed by someone all over across the map, and then you lose all your expensive loot that you've been grinding for. Yeah, certainly. So, yeah. Um. Just a, a question about cheaters in general. How do you feel about mm -hmm. people that propose that um, 
if people i know a lot of countries are talking about not a lot of countries but a lot of a game, huge game developers are talking about and trying to push this on countries for them to push um you know legal punishment for people that are caught yeah. cheating so if you get caught cheating in some country you know you're looking at maybe jail time or fines stuff like that do you think that's a good idea a bad idea does that concern you as someone that cheats well, if if that would be something that would actually be made true i think i'd be in the deep shits but generally i think it's a bit of some it depends to what extent you're cheating if you're starting to cheat where you're destroying the game on purpose where you're actually in a certain way you're ruining the whole if you're actually trying to take down the game by i don't know ddosing the servers well of course that is illegal but i think that cheating and making it illegal is a bit too much because yes true you're basically ruining someone's video game and you're and they're losing money because of that but in some games like escape from tarkov cheaters are one way that i think tarkov is is staying afloat also because more cheaters are getting banned meaning that the the, the more cheaters that get banned the more they have to buy new accounts um, I remember reading some articles, I don't know the exact statistics off the top of my head, but um, most companies are actually spending like half the money that goes into their game into just anti-cheat and fighting cheaters. Yeah. You know, I don't think that even if you have to buy a new account escape from Tarkov, that's keeping them afloat and it, you know, it's still taking time and resources away, not just money. So in the cycle frontier where they don't have a, you know, you don't have to pay for an account. It certainly is going to do a, a huge number, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, definitely. I would. I would. Hmm. Well, do you have anything to say to the developers, the community, in regards well, to cheating or anything really? I think cheating mostly at the end of the day comes to someone's. It's mostly the people who aren't that good at the game, or maybe you always wanted an advantage to the game like I did. Or especially, especially if you wanted to do RMT, RMTing. In another way, I would say that I think if the developers would actually put some kind of actual, some actual um, determination to ban cheaters in a certain way, because I watched your video and I heard that the developers aren't really doing much to ban cheaters, which is kind of putting the blame on them, but it's also putting the blame on us in a certain way, because it's right, we're, we are ruining the game, but they could be doing something about it and they really aren't. So that's attracting even more cheaters because now the cheaters know that this company is being really, you know, they're being really, they don't, they're not doing much to ban cheaters. That means we can take more advantage of them and cheat in this game for as long as we want because we don't have to worry about getting banned. Yeah, it does seem like, uh, you know, I see a lot of the same names over and over and over consistently cheating. Mm -hmm. It does seem like, uh, you know, there could be more going on there, but uh, I don't know. It's just, it's a tricky topic. Yeah. I it mean, is because hmm? go ahead but yeah it's it's honestly a, it's quite a tricky topic because you it's people put people get really mad at cheaters and stuff like that but then there's people people who cheat i mean you never know even streamers cheat. i'm not saying everybody all streamers cheat but it's a very big business cheating is an it's crazy huge business i've seen it for myself and people make thousands of dollars just by selling these cheats and it's insane honestly all right, man. Well, thanks for the time. Thanks for uh, talking to me. And yeah. I appreciate right. you. Thank you very much. It was nice having you. Yeah, likewise. Well, you having me. Quit right. cheating, uh, shithead. Huh? I said quit cheating, shithead. <laughs> All right. I, I'll, I'll try to, okay? <laughs> yeah, break the addiction. Be the change you want to see in the world. All right, guys. And that concludes my interview with a cheater in the cycle frontier. If there's any questions that didn't get answered while I was interviewing this guy, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll go ahead and ask and get back to you. Other than that, let's get a discussion going and join my Discord and let's talk about this. Speaking about Discord, I don't want to see any hate sent towards the developers or the mods over at Jaeger. Alright guys, I'll see you all on Discord and on a live stream and peace out guys.